our buffalo goldfish. We have here the Calico Moor. And by the way, this water is an old stock. And this fish is called Comet. Maybe we can arrange. These are the casualties. We did not survive the trip. Fish in varieties of tropical fish. Here. Flight has been delayed for two hours. We just hope that our fish is, are not affected with this delayed flight. And you will see. So we're going to unbox this one at our pet store. It's 6.30 and we are expecting this cargo to arrive at 5 o'clock in this afternoon but it's been delayed for almost two hours so I am quite hesitant about the condition of these fishes because they are all been in the plastic cellophane for more than six hours these fishes are from Thailand our suppliers in Thailand and this fish are the good ones the imported ones so we will unbox this one <laughs> these are buffalo goldfish and we will acclimatize this one inside the aquarium Hey, come on, please witness this one. And this strain of goldfish is very strong and big. Okay. And this is the procedure. If you have new stocks, if you're a pet shop owner, I know what I am talking about. But those of you who are intending to have a pet shop business, this is a tip for you guys. Before we are going to release the fish inside the aquarium, we have to acclimatize to normalize or to get exactly the same temperature in the plastic bag and the aquarium. We have here the Calico Moor, a mixed breed of Black Moor and Calico and we look at this one. Okay, you see this one? This is a good strain also. And we will place them inside here. And by the way, this water is an old stock water. We stopped this one for three days so that there will be no problem or issues about the chlorine. And this fish is called Comet. And I think this is a mix of Shubunkin and Comet goldfish. And we will release this inside this aquarium. By the way, many have asked, what's the size of my aquarium? This is measured at 42, 18 by 24. And this is the hardest thing. You know, these are all dead fish. I don't think if we can revive them, these are all dead. We look at this one. See that? They're all dead. And we'll try. We'll try our luck. No, it's smelly and they're already dead. We will count them. Later we will count them. If you are in this business, you cannot really evade that there are casualties, especially if the flight is really delayed for two hours. We will 
acclimatize them for 10 minutes or more, maybe 20 minutes. And you guys will take note that I have here a big pan for conditioning purposes so we cannot overpopulate our aquarium. We will release some of them in the shallow tank. Okay, so it's time now to unbox this box number two. We will see what's in here. We hope there is no casualty. Wow. So these are now imported koi from Thailand. You look at them. See that? They have nice color. And this is good strain. We will get some of them for our breeder. Okay, we will put this here. Okay, these are good sizes of fish. You see that? Wow. Wow. You know, this is a depleted plastic and Thank God that there are no casualties. So in this case, we will put them immediately. We'll put some new water. Okay. So this is it. except for that one plastic that was depleted okay so these are the casualties look at this one maybe we can arrange wow these are the casualties we did not survive the trip and sometimes it goes this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dead buffalo goldfish. So we will release them all so that they will regain their strength and they will be conditioned. We'll put some medicine. Maybe tomorrow we can sell them already to our customers. So this is because of the delayed flight, perhaps. I don't know. Who's to be blamed? But times like this, we have to accept and we will just also adjust the prices to cover the casualties. So this is the update of our pet store. And uh, please continue to like and share our videos. Continue to watch. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel only here at Dexter's World.